Welcome back. Well, as you all know, the 4th of July holiday is coming up, and here to help us get in the spirit and whip up a delicious star-spangled treat is Erin Jay, who is the pastry chef at Whipped Bakery in Bedford. Erin, thank you so much for thank being you for here. Having me today. And I, before we came back, I said, "Gosh, those are beautiful shows. They taste even better." So I'm looking forward to that. But why don't you, uh, why don't you tell me what we're doing here? So today we're going to decorate some sugar cookies. Right now, that's a really hot thing. Um, I have a lot of a lot of specialty orders come in, so it may just look like a plain cookie right now, but we're going to put some royal icing on them and make them really beautiful. Now, you guys are new to the area. How long have you guys been open? We were open a month yesterday. Oh, my gosh. So, this is such a great way. This is such a great way to get into, into the holiday spirit. So, why don't we get started here? All right. So, you want to grab a tube? All right. Okay. Yep. So, this is our, like, outline. So, you're going to just do the outside. Okay. All right. You're a little better at making a circle. Than <laughs> okay. All right. Now use this one. Okay. It's called flooding, so it's a little thinner, and okay. you're gonna not as much. It's a bigger hole, and you're not gonna fill the whole thing. So this is something it. fun you can do with the kids, though. You can always decorate a cookie, and even when it, it's like do it like you know, dye an Easter eggs. It's the That's same sort true. of thing. Just for any, you can do it for any holiday. It's so fun. So then I'm gonna take this tool. It's called a scribe. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm. Well, you said it tasted good. This is homemade icing. You yeah, didn't mention that's that. True. It is homemade. That's delicious. It's all homemade. This is a little. Okay, so we're filling them in there. So, yeah, you're going to fill it in mostly and then take the tool and just kind of kind of fill it in some more. All right. So you don't have way too much. Wipe it off first with the paper. Okay. Towel. And I'm going to take your blue. And I'm going to make it look kind of tie dye. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to. Now, how long have you been doing this sort of thing? So, I would. My grandmother actually got me into it. I was 13 years old when she passed away, and she had like a oh cake God. decorating business. How sweet. So, I took over in her footsteps and started then. I graduated high school and went to culinary school in New York. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, that is a great story, yeah, and I, I love when um, when you can take a legacy. You know, Maya Angelou always said, "Your legacy is every life you touch." Well, cl clearly, your grandmother touched your life, and now and now you're helping other people, which I think exactly. is fantastic. Exactly, and you know, there's nothing better than when somebody picks up their order and they are just the smile on their face. Well, look at that—that that you just did that. World. Wow. See, when you see these things at the store, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, that must be a machine that does that. You're doing this all by hand. Look at that. I mean, that is just <laughs> fantastic. Now, where can we find you? Um, Bedford. Okay. Bedford, PA. We're on Pitt Street. Um, if you know where the movie theater and you know where Hebrews is, we're right in the middle. All right. Well, I got I mean, we should just do a little comparison there. Can we zoom in <laughs> on those right there? I mean, hers looks just a little bit better than mine. I don't know how you did the thing with this, <laughs> but like, I don't know. How you did that, but it's just I not love the it. same. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want a job, just come see me. <laughs> really? Would you teach? Maybe I, I, my whole point was maybe I could learn how to do this today. But I think that's a talent that maybe it's just <laughs> runs in your family. <laughs> maybe it just runs in your family. You got it from your grandmother. Well, Whip Bakery again is on East Pitt Street in Bedford. We'll have all the information on um, all the information there is on your screen, and of course you can get this recipe, which is on our website, which is centralpatv.com. Aaron, thank you so thank much you for, for being here. Me. Coming up next, you don't want to miss these festive 4th of July cocktails prepared.